All right, the Big 12 athletic directors are arriving in town, and those in the birthday balloon business must really be thrilled about this. All they need to do is set up shop in the lobby of the Intercontinental Hotel down on the plaza. That's where they'll find enough hot air in three days to float every balloon made in America for the next decade. Think of all the money they can save on helium that it takes to make those things fly. And believe me, folks, there will be no shortage of hot air when these windbags get together in a room. Now, between wine tasting on the plaza and a few trips to Pazookas, there will be plenty of discussion on realignment. The Big 12 will be back to the full complement of teams very, very soon. I still believe Florida State is the best fit of all. Throw in Clemson or Georgia Tech, and then we're really talking good stuff. That would certainly help restore some credibility after reaching for West Virginia and TCU. What do these schools offer anyhow? Sounds like they belong in the conference USA, but we are stuck with them. The SEC is clearly the winner in this exchange, getting Missouri and A&M. And there's the matter of a college playoff in college football, huh? It's coming down to a four-team playoff. Forget the option of plus one. The big dogs in the highest-rated leagues will play it out. It's a foregone conclusion now. It's the ultimate money grab. Watching these college administrators operate for the past couple of years has turned me into a full-fledged skeptic. I don't trust many of these people at all, and I'm sure some have good intentions of representing their universities, but their track record as a group would indicate it comes down to the last liar left standing who gets in the final word. And don't believe a thing that comes out of these meetings in KC until the almighty athletic gods at Texas give us the green light. It still always will be Texas and then everybody else in the Big 12. That's Jack Smack.